adopt everybody's babies. But we want to go in the direction of the Jersey. Um, and we're going to breed both Marianne and Minnie to a Dexter. And because the Dexter Jersey mix is a really good mix for both beef and milking and yet the Dexter remains very very small and Marianne should have a small calf um, and Minnie for sure oh my the Dexter bull might actually be still too big for Minnie Minnie is not much bigger than Pravi Yes, we will probably keep Providence, um, at least for a while. You know, if the Lord leads us to do something else, we will. But um, for now, we'll keep Provi. And so, Marianne will still have her herd. And um, this is the best way we could have done it, is to add in another cow. And then remove another one so as to not disrupt the herd integrity that uh, we've had. The other good thing about removing Alice is Marianne feeds off of whatever energy Alice is bringing. And this afternoon, Minnie went into her stall, and um, which is on the opposite side of the stanchion, behind the stanchion. And Alice charged into the barn, into her, their big stall. And um, Dolly, her baby, was right behind her. And she just started mooing at her, like, really roughly. And Marianne then followed suit. So, by removing Alice, Marianne is um, not going to have that um, energy to feed off of. Marianne and Minnie have done fine together. So, and also thinking about it, that I'm going to have to manage these cows by myself someday. I don't want to be dealing with a big cow. I'm not big enough, I'm not strong enough for that. So, I think doing the uh, small jerseys, not miniature necessarily, and I don't think many is an official um, miniature jersey. She's just really small. Her mom was 44 inches at the hips, which is really small. You know, you think about it, that's less than four feet. Next to Alice, who's, you know, like up to here on me with her back, 44 inches is way down here. It's real small. And then Minnie is even shorter than that, even because she's only 10 months old. So November, the plan is we will breed Marianne, hopefully to a Dexter, and get that going. And then um, breed Minnie in like May to a Dexter, a small Dexter. And then that way we will always be in milk of some sort because we have to not, we have to let them dry out. Um, a couple months before the baby is due which means if they're both due at the same time then we have no more milk so by doing it this way it's going to let us um, stay in milk um, year round even though Minnie's not going to provide us a lot of milk I would think she'll do at least a gallon to a gallon and a half and the fact that she is a purebred Jersey she's not registered but she's a purebred Jersey we're still gonna get the same quality of milk as far as the cream goes and we're gonna get um, very likely the a2 a2 protein which is what we're really looking for so anyway that's what's up here on the farm Show you a picture of Mil Minnie. And so we've got this large stall here for Alice and Marianne and their babies. And we've been keeping their babies here in the supply room where the stanchion is that my husband built. 
and then he put that gate in. He took out this extra wall stuff here that was here before, took all of that out, and now we can actually walk through. And then he put in another gate, right? Well, he built in that wall that you can kind of see right, right there. And so that now all of this in here is Minnie's stall. And so she's got a door going out to the main part of the barn. She's got a sliding door to get out to her pasture. And we have a door to get out in here so that, you know, when we're ready to start milking her, we can bring her in here. But I'll show you what she looks like. She's just the sweetest little thing. Just a doll. That's our sweet new girl. Hey, sweetheart. Pretty girl. Nice, my girl. Huh? Hi. Oh, aren't you such a sweetie? Yes, you are. Look at you. Just such a sweetheart.